Can't hold it back on my own Knock up, knock up down Stand up, shut Does anybody call you Janoris in your life? Nobody calls me Janoris. No one? No. No, no member of your family calls you Janor. No. You're Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit or Rabbit. Jackrabbit or Rabbit. And you asked the Titans to list you on the roster as Jackrabbit yeah. because that's what everybody calls you. Correct. Explain how you became Jackrabbit Jenkins. Well, it started at the University of Florida um, my freshman year. I was out there, you know, making plays on the field, but I didn't know what I was doing. Remind you, I had went early in the spring. So, you know, when you go in the spring, they just throw you out there. But I was making plays. And we got a meeting room one day, and the coach was like, um, making a lot of plays. You, you moving really fast. We're going to call you Jack Rabbit. And then ever since that day, I just ran with it. But you didn't actually chase rabbits. Of course. You That's, did? That was part of my nature. That okay. was part of my living. That was part of my growing up. How did you not end up on offense being so fast? Because I've always been quick. And um, I, liked, I was like real physical in high school. So I always wanted to hit people. But I played running back in high school. But when I got to college, they moved me to corner. Have you been surprised that you could play this long? Not really, I haven't been surprised. I mean, it's a position that guys, you know, once you hit 30, you start right. to, but you've just, it's like you've gotten better. Uh, it's all about taking care of your body, understanding the game, mental reps, and just being a pro. I feel like I've been doing a great job of that since I've been in the lead and I just got to continue. Dave McGinnis works with us on Titans Radio. My he God. loved he loved he, he My loves God. Jack Rabbit. My God. He talks about the fact that you've become more of a pro right. as you've gotten older. Correct. And that that's what's really allowed you to do it. Where would you say you've become more of a, a pro and who helped you to become a pro? Uh just studying um on and off the field. People like Cortland Finnegan, Dominique Roger Camardi, you know, just being under those guys that's at a young age and learning from those guys and understanding the game helped me become a great pro. I learned how to film, study through Cortland. I mean, I just learned, like, at first I came in, you know, I was, I was young, here, there, but then I got settled in and just learned how to become a pro. What's the hardest thing about covering an NFL wide receiver? The hardest thing, just being consistent. Uh, you gotta be consistent at cornerback. Because at any moment, you don't know if the ball is coming or not. So you always got to be consistent and you know, just learn how to take care of your body. The other thing that I, I've never understood that, that's really hard for people is you're going to fail as a corner in the NFL. They're going to catch passes. It's going to happen. How do you get over it? And how long did it take you to learn to have that put it aside after one play and go on? Well, in the NFL, you got to understand, everybody get paid, everybody going to make plays. At the end of the day, if somebody make a play on you, you got to brush it out. Because guess what? It's a whole game. Um, one play don't determine one, the whole game. You just got to continue to work. <laughs>